Hi everybody, here's Christian from Teamwork Cast. And I'm Stefan from Nerdrunners. And this is the 28th of February. This is Netrunner Teamwork Cast. This is the Mage Store in Düsseldorf. And this is the store championship in the final round and final game in the final round. And uh, on left we have FOX again. This time he plays his uh, his uh, Kate. Yeah. And on the right we have Blue Sun. Which is something that was very popular for a time and it's, it's something I keep occasionally bumping into uh, when I'm not playing against any age or oh, man. You, have like, you have an entirely different meta because here in Germany Blue Sun is the shit. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I'm, like you know everybody's playing surprised. Blue Sun. <laughs> it's, Jaws, it's a really strong, strong card. It is. It is uh, like yeah. It's especially I think good against the Anarchs from from the new Order and Chaos expansion. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, so so Jaws is playing Blue Sun here, and he has this beautiful mat, of course, mm, <laughs> self-designed mat. So well done. And oh, I really also like the contrast between the mat, which is kind of like purple, and the yellow dice that he's using. Uh, ah. I do love him. I kind of, I kind of wonder if he does like commissions because I might get something from him. I've yet to get a mat. Hmm. Well, there's so many options, right? You know, you kind of have to. Yeah, there's someone you have to pick and choose, right? Oh yeah, and that's it. Oh wow, that's an immediate oversight AR and a curtain wall. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fairly strong opening for a blue sun. Essentially, definitely kind of to keep out. <laughs> the question that we have to ask ourselves is: Is does FOX play uh, David? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I. I love David. I think it's a great card, but then I'm an adult player, and I'm used to just uninstalling and reinstalling and uninstalling and reinstalling. But I don't know. Let's hmm. hope so, eh? <laughs> uh, it's a lot of influence, though. So Astrolabe is already not looking very David-ish. No, no. So I think we're gonna see 14 credits for Jaws when he back. Dirty Laundry on archives and uh, daily uh, the Earthrise. Earthrise, naturally. That's Everybody's it. playing Earthrise these days. You, uh, you, so you haven't seen it so often. You haven't seen it so often. Not as often as uh, as you think. But then, man, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, like you say, the methods are completely different. Yeah, so that's that's. I think that's the most exciting thing, like going to a different location, playing that round there, and seeing people playing completely different cards. I I can get your ass kicked by the completely different cards that you that's never the, expected. But that's the best way to play. I, I <laughs> yeah. love the times I get my ass handed to me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, so we see a sure gamble here on the side of no sure gamble hedge fund. Yes, uh, on Jaws' side here, because he he really needed more money. Mm. <laughs> Those fourteen credits were just not enough no, for well, him. Was... They've got to build a no. thing that takes them to space. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to build a second bean sock here right now. And he's just going to drill through and put one out the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know there was this movie. Uh, um, Hackers. What? <laughs> that that too. <laughs> no, but but recently there was this movie where they had like this uh, elevator through the earth. Oh, uh, the remake of Total Recall. Exactly this oh. one. Yeah, that was not a very good movie, but I like the elevator. <laughs> yeah, the elevator was a good touch. Yeah, it's a, I just it's you just can't beat Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm afraid. No, it, you can't beat the the Egger. <laughs> Uh, so we see a um, uh, short gamble on the FOX site, and he plays uh, uh, R&D interface. Yes. So but he doesn't run. run. Does he? Does he? Yeah, he doesn't run. No. Just, just creating. I mean, it's very difficult to run against a uh, uh, blue sun that has uh, such a lot of money because you have to expect even if you get through, he w they will just scorch you. Yeah, and I think it's uh, it's a game that can be over so quickly, but. Yeah, I think you know you running this early. It's a very dangerous game because if you don't hit a nice uh, a curtain wall, you're going to hit something worse. I mean, you have to remember there's a lot of thing riding on here because this is a top table from this tournament. So if FOX doesn't play too well, he m he might give up this his first place here. Oof. Not sure how the other tables are doing. I don't have any overview of over this here, but we see a Jackson Howard here by Jaws. Uh, allowing him to drop to draw cards and drop some of the cards. I think he was a bit agenda flooded here. Yes, I think so. But he's got his oversight AI now, so he can uh, keep that going. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the Earthrise Hotel is giving uh, FOX all those ideas about the cards that he could play right now. And then immediately Jackson's back, whatever uh, agenda he dumped into our uh, uh, archives there. Wow, not even caring? Is that true? Uh, yeah, well, he made a quick run and then just. Got rid of the Jackson. Is that a run? Yeah, that was a run. All right. Yes. Yeah. 
because sometimes you see also preemptive uh, Jacksons where you don't even want to wait for the hater shard. Oh, that's the other R&D interface. Oh, it's two R&D interfaces. Now we see uh, Maker's Eye basically every time they run. And he has got one in hand. There's nothing quite like running on someone's R&D and accessing all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> like medium run with 14 tokens? Yeah, that's oh, it's something. brilliant. <laughs> oh, like, as you're going to see up. You know, the most frustrating thing is when you do that and you don't win. Oh. It's like, where are the agendas? Tell me now! <laughs> They're all in his hand. <laughs> I had this thing when once when I got my medium up to to like you know ridiculous to double digit tokens uh, twice in the game. Like I was always perched and then I did it again, and, and it took me like you know the second <laughs> double digits to get to win the game. Oh That's wow! A long game. <laughs> we see an oversight AI on the on the over uh, curtain wall here. Hmm. Again, he is so strapped for cash; he just needs more. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to run out of dice at this rate. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I hope he has a lot of dice with him. Yeah, there's like how many? Like, I like how that he doesn't go over five. So yeah. I think he has 21 right now. Oh, that's insane. Uh, and now he's going to be like uh, 36, 35. 35, yeah. yeah. How many clicks? A uh, lot of the count of the clicks right now, but yeah. Oof. Really bad. Like you know, there's this interesting thing in Retro where just money, just having money, is is a form of aggression or pressure. Oh, it's scary. Yeah, especially like, against Wayland. Yeah, right now it's like like Fox is just paralyzed because he he cannot run on something because he has to ex expect a cease or scorch. Yeah. Uh, and th there's this other th other thing where like you cannot score something when you see a runner having a ton of money because you have to expect that they can install programs and get just get in. Yeah, I mean, uh, but by the same merit, you know, he's not running, so he's getting more time to build his rig, yeah. gain those credits he needs. I mean, all you really need is one solid glory run on R and D at this point. Maybe, uh, but he still he doesn't run. He just gets a lucky find and gets out of prepaid voice pads, doing his prepaid uh, Kate plan here. <laughs> Same old thing, just setting up a lot of stuff, just waiting it out, uh, giving uh, Jaws all the monies. He will eventually <laughs> do the uh, <laughs> the progression at some point, I guess. See, this, is, I, this is how the global I, recession happened. It's just Wayland getting all the money. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. Like <laughs> like unchecked, unchecked profits. <laughs> Uh, but no, I really like what FOX is doing. You really see him in something complete, completely different than what he do did against Oli in in the second, uh, in the fourth round, mm -hmm. where he was like relentlessly aggressive. But now he's like really not doing any aggression at all. Really just setting up because he understands that this is a very dangerous thing to do right now. I, yeah, I think he was, must just be biding his time for that R&D run. Because he has a Maker's Eye in hand. He's got his two R&D interfaces out. Oh, man. That Maker's Eye is going to be the most aggressive Maker's Eye then. Because then, then he will see, like, what? Five cards? Yeah, five. Yeah, five cards. What is that he's just played? Is he? Oh, that's the daily... Um, no. Uh, executive Bootcamp. Oh! So, Jaws is getting... Uh, an, he immediately pops the... Uh, the bootcamp for an Adonis campaign. Yeah. He apparently he doesn't have enough money. Why I don't why do you need that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean uh, you do need to be worried about a seesaw scorch situation, but this is ridiculous. He could scorch him a hundred times and still have about five credits left. I mean FOX uh, slowly gets up his prepaid voice pads and eventually when the, all the prepaid voice pads are out and uh, you start playing stuff like a lucky find here, mm. you can create a, also a tremendous amount of money as a runner. It used to be back in the days when the runners had much better economy <laughs> and then the and then the corporations did. Those times are over with Blue Sun. Oh yeah. But then Wayland's always been a money grabbing uh, money grabbing bunch. That's true. They were always the best at making monies. Uh, but oh, that's, yeah, that's all the prepaids. Full set of prepaids. Man, FOX is set for this entire game. And we see the uh, Adonis campaign being uh, rest. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> well, he d does he bounce it? Oh, maybe. No, he doesn't. He It stays. 
Ha! He's like in your face about this. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, I, that that should tip you off that he has some kind of like aggressive plan. I see a Project Atlas and an Oversight AI there. There you go. Wow, he dares another Oversight AI here. And Back. FOX <laughs> could be like, all right, I'm going to get my uh, lady and break this with a lady. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, it's it's probably a strong play at this point. But then, you know, that Does it? the law of R&D must be killing him right now. And that doesn't even matter at this point. Like it's like yeah. okay, I'm gonna 90, 14 credit. You still have like 20, 20, sh 20 shitload is the yes. exact number. <laughs> a metric, a, a metric ton of shitload of money. <laughs> well, there's the uh, American and SMC. So he's he's two thirds of the way there. We're at 32 credits at uh, with, with Joss. Yeah. Holy crap! I mean, I managed like 47 at some point, I think, but. Oh really? As, yeah, but it was HB and it was very far into the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, what, I'm genuinely surprised that Jaws hasn't been trying to score out that Atlas if he's got it in hand. Um. Well, yeah, it's difficult, right? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, he he's kept FFX really out for quite a long time, and now. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, it just just seems just seems odd to me. Just amassing. <laughs> this is such a weird game. He's, he's right. actually run out of dice. I told you he'd run out of dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't use dice, bros. You gotta he's, use the token. He's going to the reserve dice box. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Uh, but SMC by FOX also uh, noteworthy here. So SMC will be able to he get, will be able to get um, out any breaker he needs if he runs eventually. 46 credits that's insane <laughs> oh man oh man this is really brutal oh <laughs> I mean what god do, what I want to see that sea here? source man yeah you do don't you <laughs> that's I mean, going to be amazing there's got to be a point where you've just got to run because this is I mean I guess you could wait him out do you think he's just waiting for Jaws to deck himself? No, I think uh, what FOX is looking for is his Plaskrit. Seriously, like one Plaskrit will completely negate um, the threat from this money. More money? Oh, yeah, why restructure! Why? Sure! Let's restructure! Holy crap, this is... T I, what is he doing? Jaws no turns ice? into 1% corporation right now. <laughs> he owns like all the wealth of the world. <laughs> It's just the entire world government is his. <laughs> he can score the government take over with just biotic labors. Do you think he's... Uh, I don't know. Do you think he's not got enough ice to keep a server protected? Um, I, he doesn't have too much ice, that's true. But I guess he doesn't want to uh, install too much ice just because this kind of amount of money uh, just creates like this threat of CISO Scorch right now. Mm. Uh, so he doesn't care. He just the, makes the money. The threat of CISO Scorch was about... <laughs> four turns ago. Oh, oh finally we see a run here. Jeez. I think we saw a same old thing. <laughs> Strange for curtain wall. I think that we saw a same old thing uh, Flucky find for a while here and then a leg work. There's at least the same old thing was used for something. What is he fishing the for? The curtain here? wall? Is it a lady? There you go. Uh, and there we see a lady breaking the curtain wall with a lady. But now, of course, like, okay, he invested the, curtain, the money in the curtain wall, but that doesn't matter. That really doesn't matter right uh, now. How much do you need to boost to get to uh, that strength? What a ballsy play of FOX. He expects the, uh, that Jaws has no, uh, no Scorch Earth on the head. Or maybe. Or maybe. Oh, this is a big dig. Three cards from HQ. Man, I love it. I love this play. There's just so much riding on this right now. There's so many ways in which. Look at how he's shuffling. That's just a nervous Ooh. man right there. Yeah, there's the agendas on there. Okay, in turns. In turns. In turns. In turns. Oh. <laughs> oh, that and sucks. F FOX says the only kind of comment by FOX is how ridiculous is this? And I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Oh, that's your uh, works back down to five credits. So that's a uh, that's a nervous position to be in, really. Oh man, uh, oh. what now? What now, FOX? Do we have some solutions? Five credits for FOX. 
20, 30, 40, 47 credits for jars right Only now. a little amount. So, you know, that's only enough to buy a small island nation. It's quite... <laughs> 47 credits and a uh, curtain wall rest already. Oh, sickening, <laughs> sickening isn't it? <laughs> this is sick. This is sick indeed. <laughs> Holy crap. I, you know what? I, I love... I love putting money on the runner to win, but this is a, a big task right now. <laughs> I know, it, you know, if you d rip, reach triple digits, you win the game. Really? That, no, no. That, that would be interesting. <laughs> Damn <rule>. it. <laughs> Hedge funds, yeah, sure. Hedge funds, <laughs> yeah. Is we don't have enough money. <laughs> what is he? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous game. <laughs> How long has he been to playing? This tournament? <laughs> I've, I've done this before. I, I've, I've done this as a runner. I sat there not being able to get into any servers ever with a magnum. I just gained eight credits every turn. And at the end, I just said I was retiring. I don't care. This is... It's funny that there is still at least one agenda on his hand. Yeah. Well, what's in like, that remote server, then? I, I'm, I gotta assume that's the... That's the... Uh, Adonis campaign, right? And, oh, God. I love how Jaws is like super relaxed right now. He just leans back. He's like, after this game with Andromeda, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to continue doing this. How far can I push this? Clone ship, same old thing. Yes. Wait. Hmm. I mean, where do you even go from here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, get back to yeah, get back to Curtain Wall. You really need those 40 credits has he, right now. Has he run out of dice again? I can't see. Oh, no. He's still got a couple left in that I top box. I think he had like two packs of dice, like small dice and bigger dice. He usually used the bigger dice for the credits, but now he, used, he has to use the small dice for the credits. I think, I think maybe after playing for about five hours, this is probably... Probably he's lost his mind. I think that's the only explanation. I gotta respect him because, you know, at this point I probably would run out of talks myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Holy oh. crap. Hopefully he will get in triple digits. That would be really great. And there goes. That's the atlas gone down. We're going to make... We're going we're gonna to do a... Oh, yeah. Do you think that's an atlas? Oh, It definitely ants. is an atlas that's gone down on top of that server. If, if that is an ash with an atlas, that would be hilarious. That would be you could create the biggest ash in the world. And there is a mimic. With a clone ship. Seriously? Mimic with a clone ship? Huh. It's an SMC with a clone ship, wasn't it? Was it? Okay. Yeah. I, there is a mix somehow, and there is a lady and a clone ship. That's uh, an SMC. So that's really good for The, the mimic's been sat there for a while. He just clone shipped the SMC. I think he's getting ready to do ah. that uh, that run. Okay. <laughs> what? Something must have been trashed. Oh, maybe he, he installed over it instead of a... Uh, oh, he did. And he advanced yeah. at once. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That changes no. the situation because this server is totally runnable. I mean, not yeah. maybe not with five credits. Uh, I don't wow. know. I mean, it's HQ fully open as well. Yeah. I guess he doesn't have any run any agendas on HQ. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't think he does either. That or he's got the biggest balls I've ever seen. It it would be fun to have like an Asher right now. Oh yeah. But at this point, it doesn't matter because all the ice is unrest anyway. Ooh. What is that? That is a shard. Ah. Not actually if the Utopia or I always confuse the two, but I think this is the one that makes you uh, discard two cards. We're running on HQ. With a third click. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's going to see another couple of interns? Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Random score! Oh. Yeah. Trashing. Oh. Trash the Trashing Jackson. the Jackson. Trash the Jackson. Oh, that was a same old thing legwork. No, that was legwork. Just a regular yeah. legwork. <sighs> oh, that's a shame, that is. Trashing the Jackson. And then using the shard to trash another thing. Yeah, the last two cards in his hand. And then yeah, so no cards on on uh, on Jaws' hand right now. But of course, he can score through. <laughs> <laughs>
stupid. This is so stupid. <laughs> He's gonna have to go to another table, get credits off of that. Dude, this is a record. We never had any a oh, game man. where I'm, I'm so uh, cooperation had so much. <laughs> this is so surprising. 10, so 20, wait a minute. Let's, 30, let's 40, count this. 50, 60, 67 credits. Holy crap! 16. Is it really? No. Wait a minute. Yeah, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. No, I think it's. Oh, you're right. Yeah. No, it's it's 62. It's 62. 62. Ah, all right. <laughs> Just 62, though. Oh. <laughs> but it's interesting because he, uh, FOX survived running on all those things. So you have to assume that there is no Caesar Scorch combo on hand well, there, yet. Well, there definitely wasn't any tanks. He, then he used the uh, the shard to just trash what was left of it. Yeah. So, I mean, all, I think all he had in there was a couple of but interns. But I think the rest was just the interns. I mean... Yeah. Seeing a Caduceus in a HQ? No, oh, no, he ran it on HQ, yes. There's yeah. Caduceus left. One click left. This is so ridiculous. Oh my god. I, oh. Uh, Do you clone think if chip. He, I think if he gets to 100, someone needs to just give him first place. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I mean, he won morally right there. Yes. Yeah. This is just. This is just so stupid. I can't believe we've still got another 10 minutes to go. There's a way he could get to 100. This is insane. <laughs> Anything is possible if you believe oh, it. Man. I mean, both players are two points. I mean, mm. you know, it's it's actually even yeah. <laughs> gender points. Su surprisingly so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I mean, uh, FOX has set up the R&D interfaces here, so yeah. eventually he can start pounding in R&D if he gets the money. But he's at four credits. Yeah. I mean, maybe like a count side would be really nice here right now. <laughs> Is he same old thing? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and both players can't take it. This is just a ridiculous play of events. <laughs> Draw more cards. I mean, I oh, such... Gordon Blade. Yes. There it is. All right, all the breakers are assembled. That's the trifecta. The, tri the trifecta, indeed. I mean, he doesn't have any money to speak of, but it's worth a shot, right? Uh, I don't think I don't think he can run with with nah. this trifecta right now. I think he needs some more money, and that's yeah. in fact what he does. He just gets more money. I think I don't think Fox has, has saw too much of his economy. I think he can do more. I think it's all waiting just for that final uh, enormous run. This is hilarious because now Jaws creates like this cra crazy scoring server. He like the way I mean the trifecta is assembled, so the only way he keeps. Um, FOX out is by creating something that's incredibly yeah. taxing. Keep so, poor. so draw all of your eyes and install it because you. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, guys. I'm out. I'm done, I'm done. That's it. That's it. I don't care anymore. Has he got a third pack of dice? I'm sure he's got a third pack of dice somewhere. Maybe he's bought some from the shop. <laughs> I can't sad. believe I'm watching this. <laughs> Why nobody told me that this is something to record? Oh, right? that's it. That's a stim hack directly in. Now that is a ballsy move. In in what word is he stim hacking? He's stim hacking straight into R and D. Mm. Right, that is a data pike. And, and a toll booth. Yeah, toll booth is really nice now yep. right now. Uh, but uh, no, di no difficult. Oh, uh, both code gates. So the. A retaining uh, strength ability of of um, Guardian Blade uh, is oh, a good idea. Oh, three points! A, yep, steal. Ooh, and then Stimhack uh, brain damage coming through. So now uh, the scavenge gets trashed, and uh, we uh, he gets like gets like tiny little brain damage open. Ah, what's a little bit of brain damage between friends? Seriously, no. <laughs> And also, FOX is really uh, doing well right now. Like this, uh, Pride Requisition really uh, changed the world for him right now. He can just get like the third agenda, and he wins the game. S so <laughs> surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly, just <laughs> ice right. up the R and D's. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's a stretch for him to be able to afford it, but really, I think now is the time. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he cannot res it. Oh man, it's just. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this, and I've been playing Netrunner for three years. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, I, I'm playing a lot of Netrunner, but i never seen a corporation have that much money. I mean, I've <laughs> seen some, some money, but not that much money. 
Oh, the Sneagle Beta. Is it? I think so. Is that not it? Or is he... Oh, no. It's no, not, so Levy. Nephi. It's Levy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, it's an, so I think that was a same old thing, LAV. Uh, yeah. The, all the important uh, cards uh, happened through already, so I guess he uh, 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 FOX decides to have a second go at his deck. I mean, why not? Yeah. I mean, you've just, you're have just you really just counting down the time now until you see that sea sorts Scorch Scorch. FOX is in good position, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's how, as crazy as it sounds. Yeah, draw more cards out of your deck. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, he's... And he's playing Cloud Chip. Mm -hmm. uh, and a playing a... No, discarding. Uh, Deus X and discarding another Cloud Chip. So I'm just going to assume that's an agenda. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. And it's at three credits. It's not much that uh, Jaws can do at this point. No. Uh, that uh, FOX can do at this point. I mean, he can do a lot, but with three credits, can really get in that server. Come on. More ice, do you think? I, it's not like he cannot afford it. If he has more <laughs> ice, why not? Yeah, I mean... I really like how the, the Gordon Blade really makes sense right now, because it retains the strength. Oh, yeah. Yeah, more on, on R&D. Because just one agenda wins the game for FOX. We have to assume there's no agendas on hand because there's just no eyes in the front of HQ. Oh <laughs> there's just one eyes there. I think I think the sensible play is just any time any agenda comes in, immediately throw it into that server. Yeah, and score it. This is just such a funny game. Good lord. Oh yeah, that, that's an Earthrise Hotel. Yeah, because the one thing he needs is more draw. Yeah, <laughs> just cycle his deck once. He might as well cycle it as yeah. quickly as possible get, again. Get to, get to his cards again. He wants to do the lucky finds again. Oh, oh, install, install in that server. Oh, and that is indeed now an upgrade in that server. Never seen too many like blue suns splashing in something like an ash, but this no. could be it. Or uh, oh, will it, it could be a will of the wisp. <laughs> the thing that blows my mind is that Archive is still not iced up. I, I yeah, it it just seems dumb to me. But then I don't suppose there's anything in there that he needs to worry about. So dirt lounge on Archives is still a possibility. This is, this is such yeah. a stupid game. This is so <laughs> I think they've just lost their mind. I think that's it. It's just been too long playing for far too long. I I don't know where they're going, but it's a beautiful place where they're going right now. <laughs> it's such a great. I'm having such a blast right now watching they, this. I think they've either reached a level of Netrunner Nirvana or we just. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just... yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the interface. <laughs> oh, man, this is this is madness. But at this point, like, a successful <laughs> run R&D can win the entire game. Yeah. Like, it's very probable because you will see five car uh, four cards. Uh, it's just kind of a race now. Yeah. There is an agenda on... on oh, there's there's <laughs> yeah. an Atlas in hand. Score it. Come on, score the thing that you installed there, right? Yeah, you must, you've got to... Yeah. I genuinely thought he was clicking for credits then. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be hilarious. Oh, man. Clicking for credits, yeah. Oh, interesting. In, in, advancing twice and being stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> On the other hand, we see a lucky fight. <laughs> I haven't so seen this much money in seven in an entire day's worth of Netrun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of money, so FOX uh, can, has actually good chances to get into the server. Yeah. That's actually not a good good pos position to be at in as draws. I think this. Uh, wow, this hedge fund. The and then that's. I think this might be it. And then is say, last click run in the server, he... right? No, oh, still hack. Man, <laughs> still hack that server. Oh, oh man, that's oh, it. Oh man, there's, there's <laughs> no way he cannot pay this, right? Oh yeah. no, he stim hacks into R and D. Yeah. Rest his curtain wall. It's still not enough. It's, it's not enough. There's no way he can keep him out. No, no. It's, 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 
it's, it's done. He will see four cards there. Wow. Although, if this is a barrier, then... This is oh. a uh, that is a code gate. Oh man, that code gate is really bad right now because again, uh, the Gordon blade retains the strength until the end of the run. So like all the other things, the, he doesn't even have to get the strength up a lot uh, once more. Uh. So they do the match. So they do the match. And now there's the butt clenching access here. He will see four cards. Two. And that is the game! It, that yeah. was an NAPD, I think. Yes, yeah. it was. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a ridiculous that game was the right now. the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I love it. I thought it's amazing. <laughs> but it's a, a very important lesson, lesson that you learned. Like, uh, tons of money doesn't win you the game automatically. I don't know why he wasn't just... A, oh, he should have just scored and scored and scored there. He just... He's just so focused on making all the money. I wonder if this was even like a vegan uh, uh, Wayland, like a kind of Wayland without the Scorched Earth. Maybe, maybe I, I could be I because I I haven't seen any elements that would scorch. No, unless they're all buried at the bottom. But still, it's uh, yeah. it's an interesting one. Wow, that was I'm, amazing. I, I am really curious what that upgrade was in that server. But uh, yeah, we haven't seen it sadly. No, so but it was an ash. I, it probably wasn't Ash, so that was where he spent probably the influence. So I assume that was it was a vegan, uh, vegan Valent. Wow, th that was a record for our recording stuff here right now. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Congratulations. I'm so glad I was here for it. I really am. <laughs> so FOX won actually won this entire tournament, uh, and congratulations to FOX for this exciting, uh, exciting win here. But of course, also congratulations to Jaws and all the other players here. These were some really exciting games. It was really exciting to watch these and comment on these good job guys good job i think i need to send jaws a trophy in the mail definitely like jaws has like certainly the moral victory here just, just made of money i think that's what <laughs> i can do uh, all right stefan uh, you are doing a podcast called nerd runner yes i am me and my uh, my good friend mark we've been doing it for i think we've done uh, seven episodes now mm -hmm. something like that and uh, yeah it's, it's just a a more casual look at nerd, uh, nerd runners at uh, Netrunners. <laughs> uh, I, I always do that. I, I yeah. keep telling him we've picked the worst name for the show. Yeah, that's that was very unfortunate. You have to deal with this right now. Yeah, but it's uh, it's if you're interested in really weird janky decks, uh, such as my Monolith Boxy Trading Deck and uh, uh, Fast Advanced Project Ares, which I'm going to have to try now after talking to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can find us at canlaughcom slash nerdrunners or we're on the Reddit, the Netrunner Reddit page quite often. And there is a lot of social media stuff, but really, you're going to have to listen to the podcast because I'm really bad at that. <laughs> Definitely check out the podcast. It's a really nice podcast. Uh, you guys are fairly new to the community right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been we've been playing for a very, very long time. Well, I have. I mean, I've been playing since it came out. But uh, wow. we uh, we were doing a, a less successful podcast, shall we say, and then sort of decided, hey, let's do something that we both love. And it's been... It's never been a chore, and it's been such a nice reception from everyone in the community. Uh, and yeah, it just goes to show that Netrunner has one of the best communities in the world. Definitely, we are. We do have the best community in the world, and Absolutely. that community should definitely listen to uh, Netrunners because uh, I had, had a great time listening to you guys. It's uh, really fun to listen to to your crazy deck ideas. It's been a pleasure doing this with you. Like I say, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, likewise, likewise. All right, guys. So we will be uh, closing up the series. This was a really exciting tournament at uh, the uh, the Düsseldorf uh, Mage Store, and I hope you will join us next time around, where we publish some other kind of tournament. I don't know exactly sure because I'm not exactly sure which <laughs> which order I will release those tournaments. I hope you are okay with us releasing those old tournaments because again, this is before Chaos and Order came out and before the awesome uh, new cards came out. But there's just so much stuff that happened during. The uh, store championship season, and I really, really want, want to share this stuff with you. So we will leave you guys with uh, the words that we used used to say at the end of each podcast, which is "Hack, Hack the, the planet!" That is great. Mm. Shit on oh, me! Wow, that was the best game. <laughs> <laughs>